Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Muhammad Fazan and in this video I will show you that how to schedule a background job in SAP system. A background job is a job that runs in background without affecting the normal operation of the system. Uh, background jobs are created to automate a process without uh, manual intervention you can uh, schedule a job. So uh, the transaction code that is used to schedule background jobs is SM36. You execute the transaction code SM36 and the screens that comes here you can select the button job wizard. You click on the continue button. You can enter the job name. Uh, job name can be any job name of your choice. So uh, I am just writing this job name and job classes. Uh, this is basically the priority that uh, what priority you want to give to your job. I am just keeping it as a high priority or a class A. And here the target if you see uh, you can see the application servers. If you are having more than one application servers, so you can select on which application server you want the job to be run. Here this option is uh, optional, so I am just leaving it as blank. You click the continue button. After that you have to select the ABAP program. Just continue. And uh, here you have to write down the ABAP program name. This is uh, more important uh, because here you have to write the exact program name. So you just write down the program, program name. I am keeping the same program name as of my job name. And here uh, you if, the, if there is a, a standard variant available you can click this button and you can see the variant. I am choosing the default variant. So a variant uh, you can create it uh, your custom variant as per your need or you can select the default variant. This is all uh, up to your choice. And after that you click continue button and you again click on continue button. And uh, here, here is how if you want to schedule the job immediately or you want to specify a date or time or if you want this job to run after some job. So uh, here you can see different options. So I am scheduling the job immediately. So the job will be scheduled immediately. Click next. Here if you want this job to be periodic. For example if you want this job to run periodically. You can click on this checkbox. Click the continue button. And uh, this job will run periodically. But uh, again here you have to select the option either you want this job to run early, daily, weekly, monthly. If you don't want to select any of the above options you can select the option of your choice. Here for example you can mention the time let's say I mention two weeks and I click on the create button. So now the job that I have scheduled will run periodically after every two weeks. Click continue button and click on complete. So this is how a background job is scheduled. Now if you want to see the same job you go to transaction code SM37. You enter the job name. Username you can put at static. You just uncheck these but check boxes and you click on execute button. Here you are not able to see the job just because we have given the selection after two weeks. So I am just keeping this from to two date is for example 20 and click on the execute button. So now see you are able to see the job here. This is the job that we have scheduled. If you want to see more details of this job you just double click on that. And here this job frequency is two weeks. So the first run will be on 18th of February 2022. And here you click step 
and you can see this is the user uh, that will be used to run this job this is the job program name this is the variant you can uh, the better approach is to have a background user uh, with sap all and you normally uh, use that background user to run the jobs so here i have just uh, created it with my user id which is a dialog user but the good approach is to have a background user with more authorization so the job will not get failed so this job that i have scheduled here is basically what it do it delete the unnecessary job logs so uh, i can show you here at the operating system level if you see uh, this is the path user sap sid sys global and here all the jobs uh, job logs are created in these folders whatever the client you have uh, a folder will be created accordingly for example we have the client 800 and all the jobs log, job logs are created under this folder so if you want to check the size of this job log folder you can issue the command du minus sh and you can mention the folder name and you press enter like this so it will show you the size of the job log folder so now i take you back to the application server go to sc38 transaction and write down the program name and click on execute button so uh, this is something other than the job schedule uh, but i'm just showing you what actually i have scheduled so basically i have scheduled the job which is deleting the unnecessary job logs from the system so here uh, here is the job which i have scheduled so i don't have to run it manually because after every two weeks the job will be executed automatically and it will delete the job logs that are older than 14 days so class a class b class c job logs and all the jobs that are finished and cancel make sure you do not check these but uh, these check boxes released and scheduled otherwise what will happen all the released or scheduled job from your system will also be deleted so thank you very much for watching the video hope this video is uh, useful for you uh, it is uh, not possible to go each and every detail uh just because the screens are uh, too much and normally we try to create the videos shorter uh thank you again uh, if you have any question uh, related to these uh, background job schedules you can write down in the comment